Hey, this is Dan. Let's talk about TSM, Taiwan Semiconductor. Is it a good time to buy or should we sell? In my February 15 video, after I performed the fundamental analysis for TSM, I came to the conclusion that the price would reach 160 by the end of 2021. At this point, I'm still sticking to my target. However, as you probably know, TSM has been under some headwinds lately, especially since March. Why? Because there are two main events affecting the stock price of TSM. Number one is the recent drought in Taiwan. And number two, it's the recent surge of COVID cases in Taiwan. TSM has more than 90% of their manufacturing facilities on the island of Taiwan. That's why these two factors have affected the prices of TSM, even though the actual operations of the company have not been affected because of the various countermeasures put in by the management. Nevertheless, there's still a very strong psychological factor affecting the stock price. If you are interested in what I'm saying so far, please click the like, subscribe, and notification button, which will encourage me to make similar videos in the future. It is also for the sake of the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much. Let's continue and get into more details. Currently, Taiwan is experiencing the worst drought in 56 years. To make it worse for the world, around 90% of the most advanced microchips are manufactured in Taiwan. At this point, the government of Taiwan has been stopping irrigation of farmland in order to continue to support the industries, especially the semiconductor industries. But the situation is getting tight. The water quality is extremely critical to chip production. TSM already has been reusing 86.7% of its water, but apparently that's still not enough. And recently, the government of Taiwan built a desalination plant just in a matter of 70 days to produce more fresh water. If necessary, they will certainly be building more plants. However, it is hopeful that Taiwan will get more rainfall before they have to build more desalination plants. A couple of days ago, there's some rainfall in Taiwan provided 12.1 million cubic meters of water, but the major reservoirs still have very low water levels. As you can see, 2.6% capacity, 2.1%, 1.6%, and 1.1%. So the situation is still very urgent. Now, the second thing affecting TSM is a recent surge in COVID cases. Because of the surge of COVID cases, all schools and non-essential public places, including entertainment venues, have been shut down. TSM factories, however, are still open. Let's look at the number of COVID cases in Taiwan. As you can see, when the rest of the world was suffering from outbreak of COVID, Taiwan was pretty much protected because of very restrictive quarantine procedures. But recently, the virus seems to have broken through the defense of the island, or maybe the people have been complacent due to the success of the past year. In the last couple of weeks, they were seeing up to three, 400 new cases a day. Let's put that into perspective. As of May 26, Taiwan had 397 new COVID cases out of the total population of 23 million people. So that's infection rate of 0.0017%. In comparison, in the U.S., on the same day, the U.S. had about 23,000 new cases out of 328 million people. The infection rate is 0.0072%. So the infection rate in Taiwan is only about a quarter of the rate of the U.S. And that's why it's, it's not that serious, but it's still an increase from their previous history. And that's why it's being very alarming and it's been causing the Taiwan stock market to go down. And of course, TSM stock is sold both at Taiwan and also in the U.S. And that's why it's really causing the stock price to go down. Now, as far as the vaccination process in Taiwan, that's really lagging. Because of the near zero case in the last year, I guess the island became complacent and they did not aggressively secure COVID vaccine. Even if they secured a contract, they did not try to get the delivery to be in early 2021. And that's why they only administered 325,000 doses, and that's only 1.4% of the population. Most of the doses required two injections. Compared to the U.S., 
289 million doses have been given, and that's equivalent to 88% of the population. Of course, in the U.S., most of the vaccines require two doses, and that's why the U.S. coverage is about 50% of the population who have received the second dose. But Taiwan is really lagging as far as vaccination. There's some hope because the health minister of Taiwan recently said that 2 million vaccine doses would arrive by the end of June and 10 million by the end of August. Remember, the population of the island is 23 million people. So if they have 12 million doses at two doses each, AstraZeneca, these are mainly, and that'll cover 6 million people. That's a quarter of the people. And that's not nearly enough, but it's better than what they have now. They've ordered a total of 20 million doses from AstraZeneca and Moderna. That'll cover about half of the population. In addition, Taiwan has been developing their own vaccines. And from what I heard, there are two different vaccines being developed, and they will probably be ready to deploy in July of this year. Also, as of today, the news came out that the ruling party in Japan is urging the Japanese government to start shipping AstraZeneca vaccines to Taiwan as soon as possible. I will be monitoring this development very closely. Let's look at charts. This is the daily chart for the last year. As we can see, TSM has gone up 124%, which is very impressive, although it's come down in the last three months. TSM performance is definitely much better than QQQ or SPY, which went up by about 40%. If you zoom in for the last three months, TSM definitely underperformed compared to the broad market. It actually came down by about 10%, whereas QQQ went up by 3% and SPY went up by almost 8%. Let's look closer at a daily period for the last six months. We can see this downward trending channel, although in the last two, three days, the price seems to be breaking above this channel. In the meanwhile, the DMI indicator seems to be just about to turn bullish, whereas the MACD already turned bullish yesterday. Let's zoom into the four hour chart. Again, we see this upper boundary of a downward sloping line, and there's a breakthrough here in the last couple of days. We see the bullish buy signal from DMI and the bullish buy signal from MACD. Although the RSI seems to be a little bit high, that means the price is probably due for a little pullback in the next couple of days. With the hourly chart, we certainly see this upward trend in the last couple of weeks. We do see the warning signals from RSI, although after going sideways or drifting down just a little bit, every time hitting the RSI overbought signal, then the price continues to go up after a few hours. Hopefully that trend will continue especially if they get more rain in Taiwan and also if the COVID cases are under control in the next few days. Let's look at the support and resistance levels. I see support at 114, which is the 20-day simple moving average. That'll be a strong support point. And I see historical support at 112 and 109, which is the lower Bollinger Band on the daily chart. For resistance levels, I see 119, which is the upper Bollinger Band on the daily chart. That'll be a fairly strong resistance. And then the historical resistance of 121, 124, and 128. Again, I like to repeat that. I'm staying with my target of $160 by the end of 2021. I still hold TSM shares at this point, although I did sell some shares after the price peak around late February. If you want to see my detailed fundamental analysis of TSM, please refer to my February 15 video. The link for that video is provided below this video. As far as my strategies, I will be buying small batches of TSM in the next few days as the price continues to climb up. I'll be nibbling because I'm still bullish about TSM long-term. And I think at this point, the COVID situation is starting to be under control. As far as the drought, uh, let's just hope that Taiwan will get more rain. And I will definitely continue to monitor the support and resistance levels. And definitely once the COVID cases are under control and that there's more rain in Taiwan, the TSM price will certainly shoot up. Thank you for watching all the way to here. At this point, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to my Twitter account, which is Dan Market Space L because I will be entering any text updates to my YouTube videos in my Twitter account.
You can also post any comments, questions, or suggestions to my Twitter account. And I'd like to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor. I share my stock trading strategies for education purpose only. You should make your own decision with regard to buying or selling stocks. And you should probably consult with your financial advisors before you do so. This wraps up my video for now. I will chat with you again in the next few days. In the meanwhile, I'd like to wish you the very best of luck with your financial investments.